Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to cover problems related to empirical and molecular formula. So the first question is a compound has the following composition. Magnesium with 28.57%, carbon 14.2% and the rest is oxygen. Calculate its empirical formula. So we're given with three elements, magnesium, carbon and oxygen. Out of these two, magnesium and carbon is known to us. Oxygen is not known. We need to find that first. Then we'll use the table to calculate its empirical formula. So first, let's write down to calculate the percentage of oxygen. So here we will have percentage of oxygen is equal to 100, which is the total. If we add up magnesium, carbon and oxygen, you have to get total 100. So 100 minus, you add up what is the percentage of magnesium and carbon, which is 28.57 plus 14.2. Now when we simplify this, you will get for oxygen 57.23%. So now we know the percentage of oxygen, we know the percentage of magnesium and carbon. We let's fill up the table and try to see what is the ratio we are getting. So we have three elements here. So we have magnesium, carbon, oxygen. Now percentage of magnesium is 28.57. Carbon is 14.2. Oxygen we just calculated. 57.23 now the second column is atomic mass of all this so atomic mass of magnesium is 24 carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16 so the first three columns are basically whatever is there in the question the remaining three is what we have to calculate so now we are going to calculate given mass by atomic mass so for magnesium the given mass is 28.57 divided by 24 this will give 1.19 as the value similarly when we do for carbon given mass is 14.2 and atomic mass is 12 when we calculate this you will get 1.18 same way when we do for oxygen, we have 57.23 divided by 16. This will give 3.57. So here we have the N value, which is number of moles. Your given mass by atomic mass is nothing but number of moles. So we have that over here. Now in the next column, to calculate uh, this, this fifth column, we need to find out which is the least number in this, the smallest one. 1.18 is the smallest number. So whatever value we have here, you need to divide it with the smallest number. So for magnesium, we have 1.19 divided by the smallest number, which is 1.18. Similarly here, 1.18 divided by 1.18. This is going to be 3.57 divided by 1.18. So each value is divided by the smallest value in the previous column. Now, when we calculate this, you will get this as 1.008. This is equal to 1 and this is equal to, this is equal to 3.025. So, now that we have all these values 1.008, 1 and 3.025, these have to be converted to simple whole number ratio. Now here 1.008 can be written as just 1. This remains the same. 3.025 can be written as 3. So our ratio for magnesium is 1, carbon 1 and oxygen 3. So therefore our empirical formula, empirical formula is magnesium carbonate so mg1 c1 o3 this will be magnesium carbonate 